Hello there, good afternoon to you. My name is Baba Tando. I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. And uh, where else to begin from than the developing story of what's happening uh, to Ghana Football after um, the Ghana Football Association, or former Football Association President, Kusin Yantechi, actually resigned. Um, with government also um, taking steps to dissolve everything football in Ghana. So what's going to be happening is that the Ghana League Clubs Association is set to meet for an emergency meeting this afternoon to discuss the way forward after the suspension of all domestic games in the country. Now, this comes after the government indicated it had taken steps to dissolve the Ghana Football Association following revelations of the Anas Sarimiyao Anas Exposé, which was premiered last Wednesday in Accra. Several top officials of the association were caught on camera receiving cash gifts, uh, which was against uh, the GFA's own regulations. Now, representatives of the 48th Division I sides and 16 Premier League sides will converge at the Secretariat of Gaoka at the Accra Sports Stadium to deliberate uh, on the scandal and, of course, um, um, also look at um, the way forward. Now, we are back from, uh, we're actually going to bring you all the um, details that would emerge from that particular meeting. Right, so we are back from a weekend where here on the local scene, the subject matter was the recent issue um, regarding the Ghana Football Association in connection with that um, SPAC project by Anas. Now, from the showing of uh, investigative journalist Anas Arimiao, Anas's expose to the resignation of Kusin Yantichi as FA president, as well as the steps by government to dissolve the Football Association. These matters are still trending, and uh, the association has moved quickly to get things stabil uh, stabilized with the formation of a five-member committee tasked to meet government for a resolution of the current issues as well as draw a program for some new reforms. Now, the five-member committee uh, is composed of Kwekweya, who is the leader, um, Benjamin Nana Benin Eisen, Ket Okweku, who is spokesperson of the five-member committee, Isaac Ado and Samuel Opoko Inti, uh, former... Uh, okay, so what's happening is that um, a lot of questions have been raised about the constitution of this particular five-member member team because um, Isaac Addo who is the general secretary or who was the general secretary of the football association and Nana Benin Aysen were banned by FIFA at some point in time um, early this year for various offenses and as to whether they are done seven they are banned or not uh, remains um, to be answered and of course uh, um, considering the fact that they've been banned for some vices or for some offenses um, people are actually wondering if they are fit to be part of the five member delegation that will be meeting government and indeed what locus they have to represent um, the football association which has been dissolved by government um, you know a lot of questions are, are coming up from um, um, that particular five member committee so just stick and stay with joy sports because we bring you all of the details that you would have to know